G'day guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Today we're checking out a video you've been requesting for Yonks. So I've just made the video and I'm coming back to do this intro. And I just wanted to say I watched the entire video, so there's quite a bit of pausing at the start when I explain a few things. And then a lot of learning and a lot of watching. So make sure you stick around. I know a lot about natural history, not too much about human history. So we're going to watch that. Before we do that, I wanted to give you a couple book suggestions. Because there's a bit of material to cover. Only in the entire history of the universe, I guess. And because Audible has sponsored this video, and I'm stoked about it, because I can give you guys more book suggestions if it does well. So go check it out. Go to audible.com slash Dylan Dance or text Dylan Dance to 500 500. Link in the bio. The book suggestion. A Universe from Nothing by Lawrence Krauss. It'll explain to you how something can come from nothing and how something will always come from nothing. It has to do with the bubbling quantum foam and quantum fields. So go listen to it on Audible. You won't regret it. If you've been living under a rock, Audible is the best spoken word entertainment provider on the planet. It's more than just audiobooks, though. It's got podcasts, guided fitness, sleep tracks, all kinds of stuff. I use it all the time. As an Audible member, you get one credit each month you can use on their thousands of titles. And once you get it, it's yours forever. You can download it offline, listen to it anywhere, on their app on smartphones. And if you don't use that credit, you keep it forever. You can even try out Audible on them for 30 days, so you have no excuse to not go check out A Universe From Nothing. And again, if you want to see more book suggestions, make sure you go check out the link in the bio. Go to audible.com slash Dylan Dance or text 500 500 Dylan Dance. All right, let's do it. Let's check out the history of the entire world, I guess. I guess. Hi, you're on a rock floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Very Some of it's cool. water. Not really a Actually, rock. most of it's water. Really I can't even get from here to there water. without buying a boat. It's sad. Or a plane. I'm sad. I miss you. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? No, like I said, it didn't happen. Not nothing sense. was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. I like it. Nice. I see. Something's about to come from nothing. Smart. Bang. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because... Hold on. So is he like interpreting the mind of God? Is that what's going on here? Because if this is going to be a history of the world, I think we should stick to the facts here, not, you know, speculation. Sure, this could have been what happened, but we, again, you know, we should stay to the facts. Um, but also, it doesn't really make sense because he's saying time and space doesn't exist, yet he's thinking which implies time. How, how could you have a thought if there was no such thing as time? So I, I'm a little confused, but anyway, let's keep... Everything watching. is here, and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I Bang. paused it. The I universe. think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Nah, Quarks and stuff. Simulation. Ah, that's a thing. One's in a place. Don't like it? Quarks and stuff. So stuff's like neutrinos, you got electrons, you got photons. Wonderful stuff. Quarks are really cool. That would have happened, I think it's like a second after the Big Bang. Before then, um, there's lots of weird stuff going on. So he's just skipped over it. So before the Big Bang, inflation, dramatic period where the universe just went, just blew up. And then, uh, I don't mean literally blew up, I mean like expanded. And then the Big Bang happened. Um, we don't know what happened before inflation. Nobody knows. At a different time, try to stick together Here because the world is going to get bigger nice. and emptier. But it's not yeah, so yet. I should also say within that first second is when the four fundamental forces emerged. Um, they kind of m might have uh, emerged from a single grand unified force. We think it's not proven. Um, and so you've got the quantum fields in there. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news. Yes. The quarks are now happily very married. Hot. It's like, what is it? The first second is, I think it was, it's like 10 to the 32 Kelvin, which probably means absolutely nothing to you. That's like a hundred million trillion trillion Kelvin. Again, probably <laughs> means nothing to you. But uh, let me put it into perspective. So how long do you think it takes for a million seconds to go by? Comment down under, take a guess, take a stab. A week and a half. Now, how long do you think a billion seconds takes to go by? Again, comment down under so you can see how wrong everyone is. <laughs> it's about... And then a trillion is like 32,000 years. So you can quickly see, you know, as these numbers get large, you just, your mind, your monkey brain can't handle it. And we just kind of have a brain fart. Groups of three called a proton. Oh, here we go. Neutron. So this is, uh, when did this happen? Like three minutes? I think <laughs> it's, these are just facts you can look up. So there's no point in remembering a lot of this stuff. 
Um, but yeah, protons and neutrons formed very quickly after the Big Bang. And he's demonstrating something here called color. See how they've got, so the proton there is made up of three things. They're quarks inside there. And they're different colors because there's something called color charge in quantum chromodynamics. Um, you won't get to that stuff till really deep in physics uh, because the math is really hairy. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's keep watching. Let's see where he takes And there's something it. else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because yeah. it's still too... It's very hot. Great news, the protons and neutrons later. are now happily married to each other. Yeah. Some of them even doubled up. Nuclei of atoms news, have been forming, have and it's not even a joke. It was like three minutes later, so... And he just went straight to 380,000 years. All right. And congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. So... But it's getting closer he, together. <laughs> and he didn't mention the cosmic microwave background radiation, which was... The universe became transparent to photons at about 380,000 years, and that's when uh, this first light sort of was emitted. Uh, and we call it, so when we look out at the sky, this is the oldest light we can see, this cosmic microwave background radiation. When you look at a TV, a static one, and yeah, it goes, 1% of that static is radiation coming from, it's like an echo of the Big Bang, which is sick. Getting closer together. So here comes it's the getting stars. closer together. It's yeah, back. Stars. New shit sure just is. got made. <laughs> so that was actually roughly about 100, I think the current estimate is about 100 million years after the Big Bang. And he skipped over a bunch of periods. So it's like from uh, the Big Bang to like 380,000 years, we call it recombination. You've got atoms and stuff forming. And then the cosmic microwave background. And then there's all other kinds of periods, but he's just skipped over them. So we'll skip. Some stars burn out and die. Them. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion. It makes some brand new, passion. way crazier shit. It's definitely crazy shit. <laughs> and yeah, it's a good way of putting it. They die with passion because they're so much bigger, they're able to fuse heavier elements and this just causes a much bigger explosion. They live for such a short time as well. That's where the saying comes from, you know, the, the brighter the star, you know, the shorter it lives. Um, and they live for like 10 million years, these ones that are capable of going supernova. Whereas a normal star, a very average star, like our own sun, lives for like 10 billion. Which allows longer. newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into so now stars have cool stuff this around them. This is a fantastic video. Like, I shouldn't even be making this. I'm just going to be making this boring. So I apologize for ruining your favorite video on the internet. This is the sort of thing we should be showing in schools. This is very fun. Um, I think kids would love it because it's very, you know, snappy like TikTok. Every seven seconds you got to cut. Like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make... <laughs> funny clouds. I think he's referring to, like, Oort clouds here. So the Oort cloud is kind of like... I don't know if we, I think it's the boundary of the solar system, but kind of not. Um, it's almost, no, it's not. I think we make that closer. So the Oort cloud uh, is like a spherical shell of like rocks and stuff around our star. And it's like halfway to the nearest star. So it's way out there. Um, and when stars, are, you know, they're going around the galaxy, they come near each other and they launch a lot of this stuff towards the planets. And that's where it comes from, this Oort cloud. So some very interesting cool things. things like this ball of flaming rocks for example uh, holy shit we just got so the question it. when does the earth become flat i'm kidding <laughs> the ball Here of comes flaming the rocks and it kind of made a mess which is nice weather update it's raining rocks from outer space weather update those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky weather update cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava weather update it's raining. Severe flooding alert. The entire world is now an ocean. Yeah, so he just demonstrated how we think water came from, like, comets and asteroids and stuff. Like, literally all the water on the planet. That, again, is speculation. There's other um, ideas. Some people think it came actually from inside the Earth. Anyway, uh, so volcanoes. Here comes the atmosphere. It spews out all the stuff. and What? Creates an atmosphere. Oh, cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic ancestors. speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made nice. from gnarly space ingredients left over from when That's it was raining nice. rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired Very of living nifty. at the bottom of the ocean? So he's not doing a great job at, like, making you aware of what's speculation and what's factual. There's a lot of this stuff like how life started on earth where the ingredients for life even come from we again think it was like meteorites and stuff amino acids but we don't know for sure we just don't know that stuff yet using a revolutionary technique you can convert sunlight into food 
side effect. Now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the Earth yeah, if you didn't know that all the oxygen in our atmosphere, again, we think, we're pretty sure, came from life on Earth. Um, and a lot of people think that most of the oxygen in our atmosphere comes from rainforests. It's not true. It actually comes from the ocean. 70% of all the oxygen in our atmosphere, we think, comes from phytoplankton and microbes in the ocean. And like 28% the rainforest. So just demonstrates how important it is to keep our oceans healthy. Um, you know, you've probably heard about all the plastics, microplastics in the ocean. Ocean dies, we all die. And even if, you know, a, you know, you kill too many species in the ocean, everything still might die because ecosystems are very delicate. And there's something called a trophic cascade where you take out a couple things and everything, you know, that was in a delicate balance is now just dead. Well, for a while, maybe even a couple of times. Snowball Earth. It's a sponge. It's so a I should say as well, I have a degree in environmental science. That's why I know a bit about Earth's natural history as well. Very interested just in natural history as in general. Like, I don't know too much about human history, <laughs> I'll admit. And I also want to point out, it's only two minutes into the video. There's still 17 and we're already up to like life emerging. So I guess he's demonstrating that time is relative because obviously this is going to be a very human centric video with human history um, and history of the world. You know, I feel like he should probably mention it's probably aliens around having their own intricate histories, their own videos where they're like the, the center of the video. Anyway, let's keep it's watching the snowball earth as well. Very cool period. There's evidence for that. We we're fairly sure that really did happen on the equator. There's, these grind like scratch marks into the bedrock, which we think comes from glaciers as they pick up, as they move, they pick up rocks and they drag them. And when they drag them over the rocks, we think glaciers were there and we find them. Right, the some other types of weird, strange water. Cambrian explosion fish. Alive. It's the Cambrian explosion. <laughs> wow, that's Sorry. animals and stuff. That's we're animals and stuff. Hey, yeah. can we go on land? No. Why? All, all of those animals pretty much died. I think it's like 99.9% .9 of the Cambrian. There was a mass extinction event and they like, got destroyed and that's true for all life on earth in fact in the history the history of life on earth they've pretty much all died so jurassic park was wrong life does not find a way it bloody struggles what is this the sun is a deadly laser yeah. Oh, okay yeah it is not a laser as much as i like how that sounded the sun is not a laser so big difference the sun but laser light is coherent light so it's like mostly the same wavelength and it's all in phase and so you if you've got you imagine the light it's both you know sunlight and laser light both made of photons but laser light the the wavelengths so if you imagine you know waves they're all in phase the peaks and troughs align whereas sunlight they're all out of phase it's all in, incoherent and you've got all the wavelengths so it's it's very different stuff and you don't find lasers in nature um so it's not quite true but going back as well i just wanted to mention that with the life stuff Another really important thing I wanted to mention is that currently, every 24 hours, 127 species are going extinct, which sounds like a lot, and it is a lot, because we can actually gauge from the fossil record how the background rate of extinction, and it's about a thousand times less, which suggests humans are really having an impact on the environment, and we're dramatically you know, destroying wildlife at an increasing rate. So... You know, when people don't want to believe global warming is a thing and humans are accelerating it, this is another area you can show and go, look, humans are make, you're having a significant impact on our environment and it's not good. We need to do more. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. We were all fish. Okay, yeah. will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Yes. Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> funny because that's probably exactly how it okay was. so i could go on land but i have to go back in the water to have there's something called a lungfish in australia and we call it a, a living fossil because it's like a really old animal that's a demonstration of you know something and they're still around and uh they're these fish that i think it was their gallbladder that turned into a lung and they could go up and like breathe oxygen and so it shows one of the dramatic mutations i guess in through the evolutionary history of life on earth was an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have yeah. a baby. Come the reptiles. In so the amphibians, reptiles. The baby in the egg. In the water. In the egg. Works for me. Bye bye ocean. <laughs> and now everything's huge, including this bugs. So Want to see a map of the land? If sure. aliens ever come to Earth, let's just show them this video, and that's all we need to do. If we ever send out another golden record, 
we should put this video on it. We'll call it the golden, we'll make a golden iPhone. <laughs> Um, if you don't know what that is, we sent out these spacecraft in the 70s and they had this golden record in it and it has a bunch of stuff about humans and it's just floating out through the void. It'll pass by some near stars eventually. So if aliens ever pick it up, it's got some music on it too, like Beethoven, Johnny Be Good. And if we send out the golden iPhone one day, it'll have like mumble rap on it or something. And the aliens will be like, what the hell happened to these guys? Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, you're yep. the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. All right, Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. And one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that. That's us. Grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks. So, yeah. Sorry to break it to you. You're an ape. You're a, you're a hairless monkey. <laughs> I think we do pretty well for a bunch of hairless apes. You know, we drive on the opposite sides of the road. It generally works out. So we're doing pretty well. And if you're watching this, you are a great, great ape. He's banging it's rocks together. together. Pointed rocks. I mean, Ouch. I and set things on fire. Yowch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Knish, knish can mean different things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Everywhere. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. Become this is great. Walls. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented yep. in a sweet, dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More, thanks, more food. And more people who came to more buy the food. Walls. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal Hold so on. lame and low? They skipped over a really important point, which is um, like 30,000 years ago, the first cave paintings popped up. Why is this an interesting point? Because before that period, we weren't ca painting on caves. So like, what the hell changed? Um, we think modern humans have been around for about a million years. And then for whatever reason, we just started painting animals on caves. Like our brains changed. I don't want to say consciousness emerged because I think animals are conscious, but something definitely changed at that point. Um, and the oldest cave painting up until recently was in France. It was 30,000 years old. And then Indonesia, we found one in Indonesia, 42,000 years old, which is pretty cool. So, you know, 42, meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Be tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, Back. they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Egyptian now we're getting Japan. somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? In this river valley, what about? The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. It knock, knock, showed or when, clop, uh, clop. It's the people with the horses. Gray and wolf. they made an empire. And then everyone else Mess. copied their horses. Yeah, man's best friend. Oh, look, it must be the Greeks. Or a... So I just had a quick break. There was some noisy people in the house. So I grabbed a coffee. Let's get back into it. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know. My dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, Egyptian they figured algebra. out how to put wheels on a it's horse. A real thing. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. Did I mention? In this river valley civilization. Nice. Where did she go? The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock, or clop, clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, look, it must be the Greeks. A that. beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. The thing, They're right? gone. Guess Where who's not gone? China. New Insult pipe comes from. India. I think. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. Or their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age class. Literally every religion ever. Can get down to also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. Boy. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The know, Greeks copy their the idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony Serious. so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian wow. Empire. Skipping wow, over big. entire civilization. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. 
Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about here stuff. Here we go. And right over here, Getting Alexander just had the stuff. idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. Ideas. It's That's a great what idea. I want to see. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully, the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock, knock. It's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks. Bye. Time to conquer all right. of India. Why not? Or most of what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again, with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Go the flood. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, wow. taking so over the entire place. Know. Hey, That's said the happening Romans, right now. eating the entire Roman Empire for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, Spot who are starting off. to get tired of people invading their homeland. Yeah, Hi, good. everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes this him guy. more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. Or you can get the wrong water. Sick. New trade routes, said India, <laughs> accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses no. again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone got everything in Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. Always wanted to go to Madagascar, I'm not gonna lie. Then I was reading recently that still can't blast the Sahara Desert and try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering Is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome. I'm just trying to think fall. if I can retain it's any of this. Am <laughs> actually learning anything? Here we go. Gupta Empire. Not Chandra Science. Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the stars. Yes. Oh, and awesome. here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? This is awesome. Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan this has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Subscriber. Deep in the Arabian Desert, on the top of a That's mountain, when I a real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus, there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's Come all the on, wisdom. man. When's in Australia gonna get it's some the Baghdad spotlight? House of wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Whoa. Franks have the biggest Boys kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise! You're the new Roman Emperor. Said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have the much Vikings. time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, Ragnar. and they find some land, Ragnar two Lost types of Lord. land, and they name them accordingly. Guys, they Australia. also invade some other places and get called many More names, such as Vikings. Australia, man. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think the so, yet. said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. So it's a plane. Awesome. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. The they need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. I wonder hey, how long can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy like, Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do yeah. actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, no, Korea just became itself. itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take no, over a the government. Bit about Japan. China just Japan invented also. bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded oh, most no. of the universe. Nice oh. going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga Mongolian time? I think it's Tonga time. I'm not gonna try and demonstrate. I just found out where the Swahili gets I all the Australia. Look at this Chad. 
means lake. There's an empire Chat. there, right in the middle of the The king of Mali is so rich, he's going on Amazing tour to place. let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Uh oh China's it's back, like yay! That. Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. <laughs> Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Fantastic. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art. Ah, here we go. Politics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Yep. Here's, Here's a printer. Let's make books. That's so where that uh, final second on the cosmic calendar starts. The r r r I can't even say the word. I'm not going to try it. Between the 14th and 17th century, that's when that final second. Re Renaissance. Renaissance. Why can't I say it? You think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. All the way around Africa. All right. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this. Said Again, why so hasn't he shown where these ideas were born from? Like, the, the idea that the Earth is possibly round. That was a fantastic idea, I believe, by Arabs. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies. Surely he's going to show. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families, they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great Ivan again. Great. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just right, made no, Persia Ivan Persian again. Enough. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would no, be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman I don't understand why he's big, showing some things without showing our greatest ideas, which led to our current society. You know, like the Copernican principle. Copernicus suggested that possibly the Earth isn't the center of the universe and that actually Earth goes around the sun and not the other way around. Um, so that was a massive revelation at the time. Um, and some people got burned alive for even following uh, this Copernican belief. Um, I believe Copernicus set it up so he released this theory upon his deathbed, so he didn't get in trouble by the church. And a guy called Giordano Bruno, just after Copernicus's death, sort of was believing it um, openly. And yeah, he got burned alive, which is pretty awful. Um, and where where was the Library of Alexandria? Why didn't they show that? Again, there's lots of important points in history he's not showing. If Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. The terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil, I love sugar. in the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, right, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year yep. discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Well, now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queens... I just saw Australia for about 0 0.1 seconds. <laughs> And if you blinked, you would have missed it, but he showed how British convicts got sent to Australia. And that's exactly what I am. I am the ants. My ancestors are convicts. Everyone in Australia are descendants of convicts. Uh, they originally, I think, got sent to Tasmania, which was called Van Diemen's Land back then. Um, really desolate place. And that's where, like, Tasmanian devils and Tasmanian tigers lived. So, yeah, glad to see Australia got a bit of a... You know, they'll wear such fancy dresses. Time. Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit- No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Come on, more science. Where's the science at? in charge of France now. 
said Napoleon, trying to what take over Europe. What year is it? Luckily, they I've banished got something him to standing in front of where the Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Right, we're they gonna just skip. figured out how to turn steam you into know, power, so now they can make many different every types of machines and factories and machines discovery. in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains, and conquer yeah. India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology so I, is about to all go right. crazy. Here we go. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then Fair they enough. continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran Pretty out of destiny voice. to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hawaii, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. So now let's be honest, this is more of like a history of wars on Earth. Because he's just skipped over like Faraday, Maxwell, all these really important people who discovered, their discoveries changed our world as we know it. Um, and then right, they kick Panama what year Panama are we at? Make a canal connecting the two oceans. Because if he skipped, just found oil like, in the Middle East. Yeah, we're past it. So he's skipping Einstein, Maxwell. I mean, I already said Maxwell. He's skipping Planck. All these people who gave us really important insights into this universe, um, and again, which led to all the technology we currently have, it just skipped over it. Like it didn't happen, or it didn't have any impact on the world. You know, like anyway. I still love the so video. Tired of being still around. amazing. They delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. <laughs> After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike, yep. and the workers overthrew they the government. Skipped. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Einstein. In the Soviet Union, the Arabs revolt, and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully, the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. No. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache oh, yeah. and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Here Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles Adam him bomb. and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is European a bad idea, theater. but he kills himself before War they can explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown, United States versus Japan. Fight! Fight. Out of any of the wars, I know the most about Finish it. World War II. Let's sure. unite all the nations and have some world, world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the yep. end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. That would send and make sure we have enough atom bombs. Under. I'll Too race you to space. Bombs go off. Now let's make some more countries Launch fight themselves. The dust Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally As decided saying, whether racism is good or bad. They decided the it's bad. The 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 South South Africa Africa would be in a nuclear winter for a long period of time. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Yep. Bang. Okay. That's a problem. Technology's better too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. 
with bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's is. save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By cool. the way, where the hell are we? <laughs> That is a fantastic ending. Um, yeah, that, geez, that comment about climate change and, you know, everyone wanting to fix it but not knowing anything about the world and so they can't do anything about it. That is the world we live in, unfortunately. If you, you did such a great job of compressing 14 billion years into, what is it, an 18 minute video. So props to this guy. I will definitely do some more of this sort of video where I watch stuff on the internet. So if you have any good ideas for videos like this I can watch and we can watch together and break down and discuss, comment down under, let me know. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.